Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Slow Blink Anime Podcast. My name is Phil. I'm Candace. And today we're talking about the last episode of the season, the My Hero Academia season. It's episode 88 called His Start. And this was an amazing episode. It was so good. And just the animation was gorgeous. The The whole story, like the whole... We get the flashbacks of like in Endeavor's past and stuff he's done and we get to see his family and also see how he's changed into a brand new hero just moving forward Mm -hmm. and it was just so exciting to see all the the different all of his techniques and then also like his thought process going through the whole fight and everything he was feeling Mm -hmm. and what like struggle he's gone through and the path he's taken to get to where he is right now Mm -hmm. so that was pretty much like a really brief summary of what's happening so what'd you think and how hawk Hawks helped him too. Oh yeah, Hawks. Yeah. Our new favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was such a good episode. So let's just go ahead and start about the talk about the whole fight with Endeavor. It was um the start it picked up where we left off at the last episode. We had a uh, the um, Endeavor's wife and Choto's uh, mom were <laughs> they were at the hospital and they were, uh, the two the two other siblings were there and they were talking about how um, and there was like a bad dude and he hadn't come visited and then the mom said well I mentioned a long time ago how I like these flowers and he brought these for me and <clears> he had to be saw that but it was um, you can see that he's changing into a different person because it's they were saying that he doesn't care anymore about the family but he really does and then it goes right into the whole fight which was um, <clears throat> it was it was so good <laughs> yeah. like I don't know what to say but like the whole animation they do and how fluid it is um, we get to see how Endeavor's like flying now, and he says, because uh, even Hawk was like, um, he's like, you can fly, and he's like, no, I'm just not falling. That's what he said. <laughs> but he's, uh, you can see how he's using the his uh, Hellfire quirk, and it's just um, all the power he has, and throughout the fight, he's struggling <clears throat> because he notices that he's not as fast as a Nomu, and he's not as powerful as a Nomu. So that's where he was really struggling during the fight because he was trying to figure out how to combat this without being like destroying the whole city i kind of don't get why okay of course i have to be like a critic and everything but it's just things that i always notice and it bothers me Mm -hmm. a little bit it's like this is i mean i hate to say this is only the nomu i mean obviously this is like a better version of nomu and smarter one um the a type of nomu that actually thinks and knows what's going on around him and a nomu that fights with intentions Mm -hmm. um it's it's not like just fighting to kill it's actually critically thinking of the situation and how he's gonna fight um endeavor um but i'm like i'm just thinking he had, Endeavor had to use every, almost everything. I don't know if this is everything he's got, but it just looked like it, it's almost everything that he he had. He struggled so bad mm-hmm. with this one Nomu. And then this is also with the help of um, <clears throat> Hawks. Hawks. Yeah. I don't know if this is just like top of the level type of Nomu that even... Endeavor himself struggled and like almost got killed. To be honest, mm-hmm. almost got beaten yeah, to death. Like it was... I was confused. Like why? Was... I know that. I know that the point. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that the point of this episode, yeah, is to show um, Endeavor fighting with all of his might and proving to everybody, especially his family and especially Todoroki, that. Um, He's fighting for them, and he's not just fighting for for nothing. He's not just fighting just because he wants to prove that he's the strongest. That's also part of it, but now he actually does... He shows, you know, like, emotional purpose of why he's doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But it's just... I was just confused. Like, why is he getting beaten by this one gnome so, so bad? I was, I was noticing that, too, but... Well, you... You remember the first Nomu in the first season at the end where he was fighting All Might? Okay. Do you remember that? No. That was like one I'm of the more... That was the type of Nomu that had different quirks, <clears throat> remember? 
because he was able to do like the absorption when he was uh, when somebody hits him. Because that one, I think that one, I don't remember if he had multiple quirks, but that was like his main quirk. And All Might, the at a hundred percent, he was still fighting that thing and it's like evenly. Do you remember? To be honest, I can't remember. Like, I, I'm probably gonna have to see a okay. clip of it. I'll play a clip of it real to, quick. Um, to really remember it. Do you want to play it real quick? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it's in the very first season where they got raided and they were doing that training camp at the like a little dome thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, this is where, um, uh, where he almost got caught by other people because yeah. he, you know, he turned uh-huh. to his it's original. When she got Aki okay. Was there. But that that was a no move, and All Might was struggling with it. Okay, I remember. So that's why I don't. I didn't really. I wasn't too hard on Endeavor this episode when he was fighting a Nobu that had was more advanced than that one, and it had more advanced quirks or like more quirks at least. That's true, but also I think from what I, if I'm remembering this right, when All Might was like that part where you're talking about he the first mm-hmm. time he was fighting the Nobu. Mm-hmm. He wasn't. I mean, he's already like damaged, you know. But he wasn't. He didn't got almost killed by that. Um. Yeah, but All Might is a lot stronger than Endeavor physically. Well, that's and faster. that's true too. Because they, they always said how big the gap was between Endeavor and All Might. But it just seemed like to me Endeavor was fighting as if he's fighting all for one. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying like, to go for because, um. It's like all these new Nomu are like, when they come together with all the quirks, it's like they're fighting an all-for-one. Hmm. Because that's what I was kind of understanding from it. It Because mm-hmm. even in the episode, they compared it to like, oh, it's the, the Kamino incident all again, like when All Might fall all-for-one. That's what I was wondering, Tell I'm like... Yeah. But it's, I think... Like, why? Or how? how? I think you know, the like... whole show and like the writing with Hirokoshi, he was trying to compare it to the same time when All Might did that fight because there's a lot of parallels especially towards the end when uh after he came down and he raised his hand up Mm -hmm. and his fist i think he was trying to do the whole thing with uh comparing it to all might fighting all for one yeah do you think so i think so too but what i'm confused is it's not all for one yeah, but it's it's the <laughs> same concept with him having multiple quirks I, and being no. Yeah, I I get I get that part, but I'm saying is, what if he fights all for one? What is he gonna offer if this is like an all for one kind of like prototype? Like it's not even the real one. Yeah. The, like, I guess you're right. Like I I get it. Like I I do get it. I get it. I get everything. It's just. I guess you're right. I guess in a logical sense, it's just <laughs> I can't process it in my head. Like. It's just, I think we're so used to All Might being, like, so powerful and <laughs> showing up and he takes over the scene. Because I think you you even said it, too, when we were watching. Because um, it was one time when Endeavor was going to do one of his, like, finishing blows. You're like, where is All Might? <laughs> <laughs> because it seemed like he wasn't able to get, like, that finishing hit a lot. And it yeah. was a few chances. And it, it took, um, I mean, the whole fight was just, it was a good fight, the whole thing. You can see him. There was one part where he thought he won, and then Endeavor got hit. Like, his eye got hit, too. Yeah. And I was... I don't know why I thought this, but I thought it was going to be, like, how Todoroki had that scar on his. So, like, oh, they're going to be the same. But I guess not. <laughs> but he, he was really injured and yeah. multiple times. And then he even needed Hawks' help, like you said before. And Hawks was doing amazing, too, in this yeah. episode. He was really... He's um, um <clears throat> he was a great support. Hero. Yeah, that's yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. He's um he's a very, very good support mm-hmm. hero. Um he said it himself though that he's not the type that um the, in the front line yeah, where he, he said he attacks. struggles with like power types or something. Like yeah, that. he did say that. But did you remember the scene where the whole after Endeavor cut through the building with one of his techniques when he was finding Nobu? Mm-hmm. And everything was sliding off mm-hmm. and he's like, um, so his his quirk's called fierce wings or fierce feathers. Which one was it? I think it was fierce wings. Yeah, I think so. Too. So he's able to control all of his feathers, and he saved everybody in that top portion of the building that was coming down. Mm-hmm. And it was just he was like he was looking for the breathing, looking for people worried. Like he was like, he was crazy. Yeah. Was, like I, I was just so impressed to how how much uh, control he had over all the feathers. Yeah. How much? And he, he saved all those people. Yeah. He he did really well. I mean, he didn't not only. 
uh, save all those people. He all he also helped mm-hmm. um, Endeavor mm-hmm. okay. with his fight. Um, and then we we saw that the more I guess the more feathers he take out from his <laughs> wings, the smaller it gets. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> and I really like that scene where it was after one interaction with the Nomu. And like they were on the building, and Hawks was like running backwards, and he was still talking to Endeavor. Mm-hmm. You know? I really liked. I really liked the animation in that. It was just really, it was just really funny. Yeah, I guess. And well done. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> the whole fight was great. We got to see yeah. Endeavor's techniques. Um, we'll put a few of them here, showing on it the screen. It was like he was doing Super Saiyan or something. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Where uh, the reporter even said, oh, the, he's like, he's glowing or something. Yeah. The light's coming off of Endeavor. But then um, the real couple parts that stood out to me was when we thought Endeavor had lost. And everybody on the TV was watching. Mm-hmm. And you could see Shoto, he was there kind of, um, he's pretty much like getting, what is the word I'm looking for? Like he was in, dis- like he was distressed and he was in despair. Like watching his dad lose and being hurt. <clears throat> And he comes off as like, I don't care about my dad or anything, but you can see he actually does have some attachment towards him. Um, in a way, I kind of looked at it. Um, I, kn- I know obviously he was in distress, but I feel like part of it is also he he's probably confused. Mm-hmm. Why, why is my dad doing this? Like, why is my dad going so much or doing mm-hmm. so much for just for this like maybe in a typical mm-hmm. i don't know like maybe in a typical day endeavor wouldn't be like that yeah and i mean even his other kids was confused like why is he waiting you need for to, the, yeah the reinforcements to yeah come. like what, what why is he doing this and yeah. i feel like the kids are just confused like this is not the dad that we knew and i think a big reason of why he wasn't giving up during this fight was that he was trying to prove to the whole yeah the whole world that he's the number one and he's um deserving of that position and i guess too also he's keeping the promise he made to shoto mm-hmm. where he was going to show him that he was going to be number one and he's backing up what he said. He's like, just watch me. And he made that speech. It hit me so hard when Todoroki oh, yeah. said, I'm watching. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so there sad. he goes again. <laughs> I mean, it hit me hard, but I didn't yeah. cry. Like that. It was crazy. I was crying just because how cool everything was looking. <laughs> oh, my God. And especially towards the end when um, the part that really got me was when Hawks was supporting Endeavor. Because... Um, he used he put his feathers on Endeavor's back to speed him up, mm-hmm. and then Endeavor was just using the fire off his back to move. I think he even said he couldn't move anymore because mm-hmm. the, the gnome was like, "Do you have regeneration powers too?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "No, I'm not like you." And he was just using his quirk to be able to still keep up with the gnome move, which was mm-hmm. crazy. And was seeing crazy. seeing Endeavor and Hawks work together, and we found out that Hawks in the past was always kind of looking up to Endeavor because he felt he was Endeavor was one of the only ones that had the courage to 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 go after All Might Mm -hmm. which was and you can and then the whole that whole animation they did were I don't know what it was like symbolism or something but he kind of showed you how he was down on his knees and he was trying to build like a bridge to cross Mm -hmm. this huge gap but the the materials he was using was like a like a broken plank and like messed up rocks and I think it was to show us how ridiculous it would be for someone to try to do it. But you can see Endeavor, him never giving up. Yeah. Sorry how much work that needs to be done yeah. to even get to All Might's level. That's Or, yeah. you know, to reach All Might. I really appreciated <clears throat> that. I did I threw that in there. It, was just, it just really exemplified what... Like, it, it told us... Like, how... Without, how it showed much, us instead of telling us how crazy yeah. it would be. Like, how much Endeavor worked so mm-hmm. hard to get to where he is right now. Yeah. Yeah, but it was, it was such a good good episode. So, they end up... To, to finally finish the normal off, they... Endeavor's like, what did you say to Hawks? Like, can you help me out? He's in, He ends up asking him to take him all the way up as far as he can. Mm-hmm. So that way, um, he can go all out yeah. without damaging the other buildings and mm-hmm. the, hurting any other people yeah and he, he says one of my favorite lines ever he's like i hate this school model or he's like never liked the school model and he's like and then he goes <laughs> <"This is> ultra <laughs> it was so good <laughs> oh my god 
was so good. <clears throat> I really enjoyed that part of the episode. And then you can see the whole huge explosion in the sky. <clears throat> and he's... Uh, <laughs> You're right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, you see the explosion and he's coming down and then he crashes. And everyone's like, it's all quiet. Everybody's watching. And you can see um, the shadow come out and you can see the fist raised up. Like, oh my. It's crazy. He's like... There's like a victory sign or something like that on the news. But it was it was such an amazing episode. Mm-hmm. And he definitely proved that he was the, the number one hero. I think that was a good start for Endeavor. The whole world. A really, really good start for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a little disappointed that there's not much um, what am I, praise for Hawks. <laughs> I think he did so much too. Like He did. He played a big part in this. If, if he didn't save... Those people, those people would have been dead. Mm-hmm. And then he also I mean, was fighting the Nomu that split off from the original Nomu. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, he was fighting those people. He was rescuing people. He helped And he was supporting Endeavor. Endeavor. Yeah. Like, that was... He, he was doing all, all of it, too. He's def- He's the number two hero. Oh, yeah. I, always for- I keep I forgetting forgot. that. Yeah. He's that. the number two hero. And he's, he really proved it. And this is uh considering him not... This is considering him mainly being a support hero, too. Mm. And, you know, I think if not all of them, well, most of them, majority of the heroes that we've seen are more frontline heroes mm-hmm. that, you know, go go for it and yeah. and do all the attacking and stuff. Yeah. And it's then... A, it's a nice change of pace to see yeah. a hero like this, who still can fight, yeah. but it's not, uh, it's, it's not what defines him. Yeah, it's not, yeah. 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 But I mean, he's number two for. I mean. Yeah, and I think he said a lot know. of it was because of the approval ratings he got, just because so many oh, people like, like him. him. Yeah, that's yeah. part of it too. And he helped so many people too, so it makes yeah. sense. But it was it was such a good episode, and that's how it ended off for the whole fight. And everybody's watching on TV, and it was great. It was good. But, it was really good. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm really 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 happy for Endeavor. Yeah, they I'm said, really excited. I want to see more of him for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and if someone can explain the logical reasoning, what I was talking about in the beginning, what, what we were Why talking about, <laughs> like, right. I just need some kind of like somebody to put a sense in my head, I guess. That'll be the question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the comments, see what people think. But um, yeah, let me just know what you thought about the episode. And then it also wrapped up with an after credit scene. Mm-hmm. That was uh, Deku asleep, and he uh, he sleeps like I sleep, face down. <laughs> you judge the way he sleeps. I was like, why is he sleeping like that? <laughs> no, I was like, he sleeps like that. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Anyway, uh, then we go into his dream, and it's him, and then there's like a whole line beside him. And then we know one of them was uh, Shimura, the pre- one of the previous uh, one for all mm-hmm. holders. And then we saw two, I think it was two other ones that we hadn't seen before. And then there was a few that were kind of grayed out and Wait, we can't really see. all for one? one for, yeah, all for one. <laughs> no, so one the, for all. One for... Yeah. Chimura? Yeah. Back then? No, it's... Well, they, they said that was... Shigaraki is the nephew of one of the one for all here. One for all holders. <laughs> it was like really, like two yeah, seasons yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was her name. It was okay. it was All Might's teacher. She was there, and then we saw the whole... It was like the passing of the quirk. Um, one for all was passing... All for one was passing one for all to his brother, who we thought was quirkless. And then it was Deku reaching out, and they... You could see them both reaching out towards each other. Mm-hmm. And then Deku wakes up, and you can see he used the... He was using one for all for, like, the full mm-hmm. calendar. It's like... He's using it in his dream. Yeah. So I'm thinking this next season we're going to get more in depth with the previous uh, users of One for All. That would be good. Because I'm really excited for that. I would want to know more about that. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me of, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode, how um, the One for All users are kind of like Avatar from The Last Airbender, Mm -hmm. like that Avatar. And I'm hoping it's kind of the same situation where he can go back and talk to these other previous users mm-hmm. and they can like share their knowledge or whatever in the same way. Mm-hmm. So I hope it's something like that because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm excited for next season. That would be good. That would be really good information. But mm-hmm. um, we searched 
for the fifth season any information yeah or the, mainly the date is what it's, we're wanting to know yeah it's it's confirmed that it's coming out season five yeah but there's no date yet and they're it's already in production i think is what it said it's in okay. production but uh they're not really sure which uh, studio is going to be having it or which staff's going to be working i think it's still studio bones that has the rights to it which i hope it stays that way and they because they've been doing a great job so far with the, the animation, the voice acting, and the pacing, and I'm really, um, I really respect what they've done with this anime, and they haven't drug any episodes out or put crazy amount of fillers, and um, I really, really appreciate that for them, and I think all of the other viewers would too would agree with me, but um, yeah, that's that's about it. That's all we got for this episode. Yeah. Got anything else to add? Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and we just want to let you know we got featured on the top 30 for this blog post website, and we'll have that in the description, and we're really thankful to be included in that, just this small little channel that we have. But um, thank you all for that. We appreciate it. Um, Y'all check that out and check out the other podcasts, anime podcasts and manga ones that are on that list. I'm sure they got some great stuff too. But thank you all for watching. Let us know what you thought about this episode. And see anything? I'm speechless because this episode's so good. Yeah, I it was, was so good. I was excited. I was crying just from it was like, so good excitement. I was crying for Todoroki too. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't was crying, so, but it was so sweet. It was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, make sure y'all like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. And you can listen to us on all the major podcasting sites. We'll see y'all next time.